Why, hello, and welcome to another episode of First Chances with Chance. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about new jobs. So, as you guys know, I just got a new job, and I've had, uh, well, I just got two new jobs. One that is temporary and one that's going to last quite a few years, or that better last quite a few years because I'm not trying to look for a new job anytime soon. I am going back to school soon. Oh my God, don't even get me started. All the paperwork that I have to fill out for the new school is a lot, especially with like all the transfer paperwork and all of that. I have to call the school board tomorrow, unless I have time today to, no, they'll be closed by the time that I even get a chance. So I have to call tomorrow before I, uh, yeah, just tomorrow and literally be like, hey, do you guys still have my immunized immunization, I don't know how to say it, um, forms or like information and because I'm transferring colleges and with, and the college I'm going to needs that paperwork and if not, I have to go all the way back, I go to the school and get all of these damn shots and, or like schedule a time to get all of these shots. And I'm just like, I don't have time. Like, please tell me when I have time to do that. Like I can't be going, like I don't drive yet. So that's another thing. I have to drive and all of that. Uh, I'm sure that this week we are getting paid. Oh my God, I get paid three times this week. Oh, God. What did I get? I don't think I got a check last week. I don't think I got the check last week. I think I got... I got paid yesterday from one of the new jobs, but the other new job is... I don't think we get paid until the end of the week or next week, which all that money does not get touched. It just goes straight into a investment savings account. That's the easiest way of wording it because it's not really an investment. It just builds and builds and builds a lot more than a regular savings account would. I'm gonna start working out again. So yeah. Um, I've got to start working out again, and that is going to be a lot of time as well. I have to, whenever I get, it. my excuse is I don't have a set schedule yet, so I have no clue when I'm able to go, but it's like, it's not like I don't have like weights and stuff at home. So at that point, it's like, what's your excuse? What is really your excuse? Because... You can't just be going and saying, oh, I don't have time because I don't have a set schedule. You don't need to have a set schedule. Even if you're not going every day, you still know what you're, like, can plan a rat, like, enough time to go to the gym. Not that difficult. You could find a gym close enough nearby that you're able to ride your bike. And there's programs now there's like there's videos where you're able to do stuff at home so at that point what's your excuse you even have videos saved on youtube of this than the other video this than the other video so really what's your excuse you don't have one you it, like i know that you're good it, we've been going through a lot but still um, but yeah, 
I wasn't talking about you guys. I was talking about me. That I was not trying to target any of you guys. Um, but man, with this new job, so like one of them is I'm a scare actor for um fright nights. So that is definitely fun. That I mean, might be getting paid. So I get paid three. I might possibly be getting three paychecks this week. Oh God. My last paycheck from the Swim Academy. And then, oh, it is four weeks in. Huh. I didn't really think about it. I thought I was getting, no, I did know, know that I was gonna get two paychecks this month. Huh. But yeah, I've definitely been enjoying these new jobs. One of them is all right. Like the one at the other place. It's all right. Some of you guys know where I, where I'm talking about. Others don't. And I'd like to keep it that way. Unless you guys run into me, then that's a different story. But if I don't, then I'm not going to really say anything. Because at that point, there's no point in telling you guys. Because it's not like we're going to run into each other. If we did, we would have ran into each other a couple weeks ago. If anything. Unless you guys are just visiting Florida for a bit, then that's a different story. Um, but yeah. It, it, both of them are definitely fun. I am definitely looking forward to eventually moving into the pharmacy. And yeah, I will definitely be having fun. And I work today at Fright Night. And or I should say, I get to have fun at Fright Nights because it's almost exactly like regular acting where, but it's scare acting. So scare acting is a little different uh, than regular acting, but it is still a lot of fun. And we, next week we have the 27th off. So I'm gonna try to do something at one of the kava bars possibly um i'll have a little bit of extra spending money so i can eat i'll i think that there was one that was on the 27th so i will just uber like i'll have extra a little extra spending money to uber so if worst comes to worst i will uber because i might be in full um, might be in an outfit that I can't really ride my bike with. Like, I don't know how, um, somebody who tucks would ride a bike. Like, my whole, like, Especially with the outfits that I be wearing. Like, if you were to wear the skirt that I want to wear for Kim Possible. Oh, Lord. That is the wor the one of the shortest skirts that I've ever worn. And that skirt. If I wear, if I ride my bike, it will not touch the bike seat. I will literally, if I bet, move at all or something. My booty cheeks will be showing. I mean, I don't have a problem showing my booty cheeks. But at the same time, it's like... Huh? Excuse me? How did I miss that? Sorry, that's the thing that happens when I mess with my hair. Let's just honestly wrap it and pin. Because we don't have time for that.
and your curls are already coming back after straightening them, straightening your hair last night. But yeah, I love how this, it's been 10 minutes of me nonstop talking about only the new jobs I have. Not every single time that I've gotten a new job. I mean, I've talked about my jobs before in other episodes, so it shouldn't, but like I've had episodes where like interviews, jobs, all of that, but never a actual episode just to new jobs. Like a lot of people will put on their persona so that everybody starts to like them straight off the bat. At least I do, or I used to. Um, when I was a people pleaser, yeah. Worst time ever. Don't ever do that. Um, but yeah, I used to be a people pleaser and we'll be right back with uh, after this break. So yeah. So instead of having a dance break, we're just gonna come back. Um, so as you guys know, my first job ever was Duncan. So I guess the new job after that um, uh, Duncan wasn't too bad, actually. It, huh, I lie. It's awful. I mean, for your first job, it's not that bad. It's bad when you just keep getting, see, it's not a kid's shirt. It's bad when, like, this is some of this type of stuff that the kids wore. Like, the same style. Whatever. Um. Duncan wasn't that bad for, like, management-wise. All the managers were really nice. Like, the, I would literally, I, like, I've seen them be, uh, uh, way after, even, like, a couple, I think a couple months ago, when I actually started going to the gym and everything, going for walks, I, um, would, like, I even went in there one time to get, uh, coffee or something, but... Like all the man, like they still remember me. Like all the management was nice and everything. It's just that when you're closing at night, they there's an expectation from the guests that and especially coming through the drive through, like the guests in the drive through feel like they come first. I'm like, sorry, no, you really don't. It's for me at least. It was whoever got to like to the register first like let's say you got to the speaker but somebody was i was already starting to help somebody at the register then i'm gonna help the person at the register first like i'm sorry but it it doesn't work that way i'm like you don't if, if you get to the speaker i'm not gonna go and be like hey da, 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 da. i'll i'll be like Sorry, give me one moment. I'm helping a guest inside or something like that. And like to like still let them know that I'm there and that I know that they're there. They're there. That they are there. Like I that way I'm acknowledging them. And they're just like, hey, da 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 or right when they would get to the speaker, they would start ringing off their order. Even if I haven't uh, been like, hi, thank you for coming to Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, what can I get for you? Or something like that. They just, they're, they, like I get it. You're coming to the draft because you don't want to park and come in and wait and all that. But you're still going to have to freaking wait. Miss Little Impatient. More like Miss Too Impatient. My god damn. 
But I almost said that Target was after Duncan, but it wasn't. Um, I know that at some point I was thinking about applying, I had started to apply for Target, but then I got a job offer, like got a job handed to me at Duffy's. And I'm pretty sure I've already told you guys where I work now. So, yeah, nice way. Like, how did I end up going from, um, how did I end up going from a target to where, uh, where I'm at now? Makes no sense, but it does. Especially with the field that I'm possibly, well, likely going to be taking. Because uh, that is going to be my, what I'm going for with my masters. Um, I'm just excited to not like be continuing my education now. And like, it's not that I ever stopped. It's more of like, I've worked so hard to get my associate's degree and now like I feel accomplished and all of that and I'm just like have more of that drive again to push my way through. Like I took a semester off because I, I just needed a breather and I'm kind of glad that I did because everything worked out in the end with me going to UltraCon and finding out about Fright Nights and then being like excited to do Fright Nights. Uh, like everything ha building up, like going forwards after I was like, you want, you know, like pushing myself to finish my associate's degree and all of that. Um, pushing myself to be like journey through life and pretty much find myself more everything like it's almost as if the universe is saying good job like keep going you're doing you're like you're going in the right direction type of thing um i just got accepted like i got the acceptance notice from the college that i'm transferring to for my bachelor's and they let me like i got accepted now all I, like, I, and then like, before this month to be exact, I literally got my license again. And yeah, I know if you guys ever watched my YouTube channel, you guys know that it is, that's been a whole entire roller coaster right there. The driving and all that, like, yeah, I might still do some videos in my car but I'm not gonna be like all like YouTuber like filming my car 24-7 like the, the phone's getting put away is what I'm saying I mean not put away to where I can't change the station but like if it's Bluetooth, then I'm gonna be able to change the station anyways, or I should be able to. Like I should be able to skip the song. I should, um, like there's gonna be ways that I could get around it. It's not like straightforward, this, this, and this. But what I'm saying is that the things that I've done to help myself, even after I, like, I guess since I've been going back to school, everything just been working out like after COVID. And then once I left Target, I will say that the Swim Academy helped me. They helped me get out of my shell a little bit, ever bit more to where I'm now like, don't give a hollering hoot about what people say about me. Like, yeah, it's more of like my inner, unless it's like, unless I'm getting like compliments, I don't really care if there's negative energy. 
If I'm getting compliments, then yeah, but if it's a lot, then whoa. Um, I, like the other day, I got my energy boosted by, by like getting compliments and all of that. Like it makes me feel good. The negative energy just, I really could care less about it. I don't, like yeah, I still do all the gossip and all of that. I feel like there's somewhere deep down in me that just like still grabs at it. But we're gonna go ahead and take a, another break and then be right back with, hopefully we'll actually talk about our new jobs instead of talking about the same exact stuff every single episode. So while that break was fun, I chugged the rest of my pre-workout. Cause after this, we are going to go work out. Uh, I wonder if FAU has a free, like their gym is free. I wonder. Cause then that would make sense for, and then I wouldn't have to worry about all of that who in the holiday. Me and Trey could always go to the gym together too. Oh yeah, and new jobs. So, there's nothing really new to talk about with the new jobs. Like you already know that when I started at Target, I enjoyed it. Um, but then management just started to become like a pain in the butt. And then one of them wanted to keep disrespecting me and I was just like, nah, I ain't having it. So I moved departments and was happy for a bit. Then we became short staffed and they put the whole entire workload on one person. And I'm just like, nah, y'all ain't doing that to me. Nah. And look for a new job, got the job at the Swim Academy. And then um, it wasn't management that made me leave. It was more of the fact that, like, I needed a job closer to home and something that would be more, like, effective with a schedule for my school schedule. And if I have a job closer to home, I could just quickly drive home, change clothes, and then go to work. Like, it's within a distance. Like, yeah, I could, if I was to work at the Swim Academy, I could have done that. Uh, it was either I do morning classes and only do uh, nights at the Swim Academy. But the only thing is, is that I would have to be out by 1 o'clock for my class, like be done at one o'clock for my classes and what, that's only one class. And I was working four days out of the week. Four or five days out of the week. That's not gonna be efficient for my schedule. Like at least with Walgreens, it's, we work later, it's closer to home and I can easily drive home. And with that, I would be able to, like my shift now don't even start till four. So I could have two classes a day and be perfectly fine. Like, yeah, I'll be, it'll be rough, but I'll be able to get home. I, and the days I don't have class or school, I mean, class or work, I can go out. Possibly, depending on how everything looks. But, like, right now, before if I get a car next month, hopefully, fingers crossed, 
then I will be able to have more fun. I'll be able to go out more. I'll be able to, like, yeah, it's a lot, but I'll be able to have fun and live my life a little bit more before going back to school and working on my bachelor's degree and busting my behind with classes like organic chem and all of that. Oh God, like, it's gonna be a lot of work. So this new job is gonna work perfectly in my favor. And then eventually I'll be able to work, like do more full time. And like right now it's 18 hours that I'm getting which isn't a lot, but I also have Fright Nights. So once I'm done with Fright Nights, I'm hoping that I at least get four days. Cause if I don't, then I might have to do Uber when I get struck in a car. Cause I need at least 600 a month. And right now, my paycheck yesterday was only 500, well, it was almost 600, but I don't need to be saving 100 from my paycheck each month. Like my, one of my paychecks each month to go towards the paycheck that I get pretty much give my, would be giving my mom. Sorry, not sorry. And then I also have to make sure that I'd be able to pay for my car. So, yeah. Because, like, yeah, I'm not going to be put, uh, paying it off. But I'm also not going to be able to spend a lot not after. So I'll have to re like do what I can with what I've got. And then the little bit of time that I do have after... Like, I also have to figure out working my schedule for filming and all of that. So, yeah. It's going to be a lot of work and dedication to the craft. So, yeah. But right now, everything's working out in my favor. Everything's going good. I finally have, like, a set schedule that I could fit in filming. Because I don't, like I said, I don't work until 4. Even at Fright Nights, I don't have to be there till 4. And I literally leave, like, live close to it. Like, close to the where Fright Nights is. So, I don't have to really worry about rides. And I do have to leave the house. When I worked at the Swim Academy, I had to leave the house at 10.45 to get there. Uh, and like I would literally be waiting almost an hour for the um to walk to the swim academy uh, from PBSC because I would also go to the gym. But like that last two weeks, I stopped going because I was also doing like working at the new this new job that I got this month. So I guess you could say that I got it a little bit before this month. And my ears are tingling from that pre-workout. Everything is coming together. So yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, if you guys have anything, any stories with your new job, then text or leave a voicemail to 561-320-7085. Again, text will leave a voicemail to 561-320-7085. DM First Chances with Chance on Instagram. Or if you guys are watching the video portion, just comment down below. Bye, guys. Love you.